This is a Saiga 12. Hi guys! Um, this is my bedside gun. The, as a lot of you have Remington 870s or, uh, you know, USPs or whatever. Yeah, this is mine. Uh, uh, you know, uh, booger bears in the middle of the night. <laughs> uh, beware. Um, yes, this is a 12 gauge semi automatic AK 47 style shotgun. Um, smooth barrel, smooth bore, rather, uh, threaded threaded barrel. Uh, this is, uh, since it is my bedside, it is loaded. Double lot buck. We want to put that over there. You can see the slide is always back on this one because I do not want to, uh, there's rumors and things like that. No actual tested proof, but, um, they say that if you have your, uh, your mag in there with the, uh, with the slide on top of them that you may deform these so uh, I try not to have that happen <laughs> so I keep my slide back um, there is no nothing in the chamber uh, at all see um, I don't know if you can see in there or not probably not mm -hmm. yeah. uh, this uh, <laughs> is probably I don't want to say the best shotgun I, I don't I don't want to say that because I know that somebody's gonna come out and be like, well, no, this fifteen thousand dollar shotgun that I bought from blah blah. Anyway, <laughs> uh, and there's always the AA twelve kitties out there that oh, the AA twelve is better than this. Well, I, I'm sorry if all the AA twelve has to brag about is it's fully automatic and oh, it doesn't recoil as much. I'm sorry, stop being a pansy, um, <laughs> because the cycle rate on this is about 600 RPM and the A12 is about 280 or 320 I, I forget which you can pull the trigger faster than that um, yeah very much so um, but it this in full auto which this is semi auto this is the base uh, model uh, it doesn't even have the trigger group moved forward which I would really like to have um, <laughs> Uh, but yeah, this is this is the hunting version or whatever. Um, the Spetsnats use this, uh, and the Russians, of course, Russians. Um, this is uh, only made in Russia. Uh, I'm pretty sure uh, it's imported. This would be against the Feinsteinville, Feinstein, Feinstein, whatever the hell her name is, because um, this would be an assault weapon. Yay! So, bye bye, you know, uh, any extra mags for this thing. Uh, it comes standard with a five round mag. I think you can buy two round mags for it, but I much prefer the 12 round mags. Um, drums, not sticks. Uh, or boxes, rather. There's the ten, there's, they're, they're, they're like this long, and it's like half the length of the stupid gun. Uh, I just, uh, mm -mm. <laughs> it does not seem tactically sound. Um, but the 12 round drums actually fit very nicely on these, and that's more rounds than you would ever have in an 870 or a Mossberg, whatever, Express. Um, even with extended, uh, tube mags. Um, that and if you're firing wax slugs, you know, if you put the wax slugs in the uh, tube mag, you, when you fire uh, two or three tub tubes of them, uh, I'm, I'm sorry, you're, you're, you're going to end up causing your wax slugs to melt and possibly end up like another guy's video on here where he blew out the end of his uh, 870 because one got lodged or something in there while it was partially deformed. Uh, which is bad juju. Don't do things like that. Um, anyway, yes, it's it's a black gun. It is very much AK-47. The differences between this and an AK-47 are the uh, gas system, the gas plunger, are shorter on this, and um, <laughs> everything inside is bigger. But other than that, it is exactly the same. There's nothing different except the Saiga has a, a, 
uh, slide catch. Yay! Okay, so I'm going to take this part and show you about it. It's very much like the AK. Uh, <laughs> very much so. Um, let me go ahead and put this back forward. Um, I do not like this. Uh, there's a safety button on the recoil spring uh, removal thing. <laughs> if I, I don't know what it is called. Um, so if you want to inform me and tell me how much I suck, you know, please do it in the comments. I will respond. Um, but there's a button on here. See it? I hate that. It makes it not difficult, but it's <laughs> it's it's just an added pain to have to take off the uh, dust cover. So we'll push that down and we'll push it in forward. Like I said, it's a pain in the pain to get come out. Okay, we've got that in and we push like that. Yay! It just comes off just like on an AK-47. If you know how that comes off on an AK-47, more power to you. Um, zooming out. Okay. Uh, ba, 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 ba. Okay. So just like just like on an AK-47 or AK-74, AK-101, AK in general, um, you have the recoil spring and the gas the gas spring, gas piston, whatever, all this stuff. Um, oh yeah, I called it a, a plunger. It's not a plunger. It's a piston. Sorry, I stand corrected on myself. Um, yeah, spring comes out easy. Easy peasy. Um, you take your fingers and you grab the slide and my gas system, everything all together, and you pull back as if you were going to rack it. And you lift and out. Yay! Um, you can take this off, um, but I, I'm choosing not to right now. It is unnecessary. Well, fuck it. <laughs> okay, it comes apart. Yay. All right, now you. Lube everything, grease it all up uh, nice and easy. Um, turn it to where it needs to be turned. Make sure these grooves line up. And you can't see what I'm talking about. Um, make sure these grooves line up. This is not lined up. That's not lined up. This is lined up. Make sure that it is lined up. Not here, not here, not out there. You know, you, you, if, if you know anything about firearms, come on now, guys. If you own a Saiga 12 then or an AK-47, then you know what I'm talking about. And you're probably not going to be watching this video, um, other than maybe to hear me ramble. Um, and that's it. You have your the uh, hammer down here, as per usual. Uh, if it comes up like it is now, see? Oh, yep. Yeah. Um, just push it back. <laughs> There's no, nothing, nothing uh, over complicated about that. <laughs> um, and that's it. You you can clean it. This is uh, the, rel the, the 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 reliability on these is that of an AK-47, AK-101, AK series, um, Wasser 10, Wasser 15, blah, 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 blah. Um, everything, everything. It, it, if it's an AK, it functions the same. Sorry, but uh, it does. Um, <laughs> Uh, putting it back together, you take this and you take the uh, okay, you take the uh, FML. Okay, it's still my first series of videos here. I am still kind of learning how not to ramble and how to actually make a good video. So please tell me how much I suck down here. Like and subscribe. Yeah. Um. So uh. Yeah, we'll take this and we'll put the uh, piston in the top hole, not the bottom hole, because the bottom hole, yeah, anyway, the bottom hole's for bullets. You don't put the piston in the bullet hole. Um, she would not like that. She's a good girl, so she doesn't like that. Um, <laughs> we take the piston and put it in the piston, the gas system. Uh, and back here, you'll see it floats. See how it kind of floats? Well, we push down right here until it seats, sets, sets, seats, <laughs> whatever, and then we push forward, yeah, just like that, and all the way, just give it a good push, uh, it's, it's rough, tough, they can handle it, um, this thing, I don't like this thing, 
Um, I'm sure it provides some kind of benefit, but I'm not exactly sure what. Um, I'll take this. It has little catch guides. Uh, you push the spring all the way forward until it uh, is into the uh, area. <laughs> and it will line up with the grooves in the back, back here. Um, uh, God, I'm zooming in again. Oh, hold on. Um, there's a little, you know, groove set right here that you would have noticed if you would have pushed the button. Um, uh, and you s just put it back like that, and it's ready to go. The weapon will fire like this. I would not suggest doing it, but if you wanted to see how uh, the system worked, you could fire it like this. The only thing that this provides you is not getting hit with shrapnel um, gases and all that uh, stuff that you probably don't want in your face, and which is the whole purpose of this. Um, <laughs> uh, to put this back on, uh, this is actually more of a pain than it is on the automats. Um, there's a little there's a little bump up here that I do not like. Um, on an AK, you can just push it down. Oh yeah, that button also is a pain for this too. Um, you know, with my AK, you can just you know, and it's on. But this is not the way this one works. This one's a pain. You have to get and then hold your mouth right and yeah, like that. <laughs> uh, luckily there's nothing overly complicated with this system. Um, like I was saying though, I'm putting this in the top 10 shotguns. Um, I'm sure there are some better functioning ones out there somewhere, but for the overall, um, this, this is tactical, it can be chopped down, it's lightweight, it actually weighs about as much as my AK does. Uh, with with a full box of ammo in it though, or a 12, 12 round drum, um, it's a little heavier because obviously 12 gauge double up buck or slugs is a lot heavier than even probably 10. Uh, well, uh, yeah, the, anyway. <laughs> um, the tactical mods for this are just out, just through the roof. Um, you can have everything that you could possibly put on an AK-47, you can put it directly on a uh, Saiga-12. Um, I mean, unless that mod requires you having the trigger group moving move forward, which is possible to do on here. There are videos that show you how to do it, but I am chicken shit and don't feel like using a Dremel or anything on, on my uh, nowadays the one thousand dollar shotgun. Uh, I bought this for five fifty back when it was, you know, nobody was freaking out. Um, yeah, I could sell this thing for double what I paid for it, which is awesome. But I'm not going to do it. So don't even ask. Don't do it. Not for sale. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, every mod that you can think of. Well, the it's a little different for the foregrip because the gas system is shorter and it, it does it's it stops up here as you can see uh, the regular AK um, gas system gas system has a, uh, a more angled end down here um, and it's a little bit smaller through here um, but all in all you can put all kinds of add-ons on here if you want to uh, tactic cool it. You can totally do that with 15, you know, tack lights and uh, you know, 18 different laser pointers. Um, <laughs> uh, and uh, you know, yeah, awesome shotgun. Um, the threaded barrel. They have a whole bunch of different kind of door breaches and barrel breaks and uh, it's everything. Um, I highly recommend getting one of these. If you do not have one and you find one that's somewhere under $800 nowadays, buy one. Buy it. Do it. Absolutely. Yes. Um, like, subscribe, uh, have a good night, and thanks for watching.